so let's start to create a topology which we will use for our upcoming cisco is course this topology we're gonna use for initial setup and initial labs like a dart 1x map authentication and all those stuffs later on we will create another topology okay so let me go to my eve what i need nodes i need uh, ice nodes okay so i need two ice nodes and you can increase the ram as well if you want so let me put them 16 gb and if you want you can put them 32 as well if you have a resources so this is my first ice we will use them as a cluster a uh, second thing i need window server window server and that window server uh, let me choose uh, server 2012 okay so this should be server so let me change the name and let's give them the same uh, icon and if you want we can increase the ram for this one as well okay so let me put them so i will need uh, one window server okay and two cisco eyes as a cluster primary and secondary now i need wallace lane controller so wlc there is wallace lane controller and just save okay so let me put them cisco wireless lan controller as well so these are my devices now i need a uh, switches so i will go to iol and initially the switches which i will use for dart 1x and map authentication is this switch because many students ask me which switch you used for dart 1x and map authentication the one this one okay uh, this is uh, iron two zero one seven zero two zero two so this one has worked perfectly okay either this one the, you can use any of these uh, this one two zero one eight either two zero one seven so it's up to you so let me take this one and i need two switches initially yeah http and the other one we will use another switch i will uh, tell you later on so let me give them a name switch and let me change the name to switch uh, let's go to s section and here is so i need two switches one for management purpose so let me put this switch here and this switch here and by the way let me change the name to swa this is switch one which is for purely for management purpose and let me change the name of this switch to sw2 okay so these switches are done now i need two window pc for test purpose so let me go to windows and better to use if you can window 10 because they have updated everything okay so let me give a name of pc and i need two nodes and let me change uh, icon to this one okay so these are my two pc here is and this one again for some reason they give uh, pc7 and it has to be pc1 and let me change the name of this one to pc2 so let me go back and change the name to pc2 so i have two pc okay now i need one firewall normally you will see a firewall so uh, the az firewall is 40 gate firewall you can use a router as well by the way so let me take 40 gate firewall so this should be fw and that's it no need to do anything so this is our uh, parameter firewall edge firewall okay here and last i need uh, connectivity so my connectivity is basically uh, this one uh, not this one by the way uh, cloud one and here is so uh, let me change the cloud to global something 
and this is internet by the way so this is internet okay so this internet is here this internet is connected to i believe first interface yes so this is connected to the first interface of 40 gate firewall okay and second interface to our core switch i uh, access layer switch sorry this is connected to our access layer switch okay and let me put them okay and let's choose this one and say yeah okay and by the way we need because in my documentation what i done i use zero interface for connectivity so it's better to do the same because in my all documents i use this port so it will be better to follow okay so zero slash zero interface and then one interface connected to ice one okay and then the second interface connected to ice two so this is second interface connected to ice two and this interface connected to server basically this is active directory as well dns server as well dhcp server as well and so in ftp ftp server as well last interface and i done one mistake i need to uh, what i need to do i need to increase the port number i forgot to increase and when you connect you cannot increase the port so better to plan before which i forgot but you don't need to so what you can do is better what you can do right click on this one go to edit by default there are four ports so what you can do you can come here and say two so now it's eight eight is enough more than enough and let me increase this one as well because later on we gonna utilize them so let me change this to two as well okay so now it's okay let me do again this the zero slash zero interface between two switches which is a trunk port okay and this one is connected to ice one okay and this one is connected to ice two and the third interface connected to our active directory this should be our active directory okay and now the last connectivity is wireless lane controller okay and let's connect this interface to firewall i believe i connect interface 0 slash 2 so it's okay any interface and this interface is connected to pc1 and this interface is connected to pc2 so now these interfaces are connected okay now I need management PC as well. So what I can do, my management PC is this one. This is my management PC. So let me give them management PC. So that I that I can access all these devices, okay, using my Wi-Fi subnet, either LAN subnet. So let me connect this one to my management switch, okay. So this is our topology. Now let's change the style. So let me do this one. Okay. And I believe what I done. Okay. So it's better to change this one to flow. And now let's change this one as well to a uh, flow chart. Okay and now i need the third one i done it like uh, so it's okay let's give them a style of this one and let's change this to like away okay 
here and this one just drag them so it will become like this way yeah it's okay yeah now it's okay and just select all of these and we need them yeah so it's in style now this one is also okay and i need this one i believe i done it like this okay and these two what i have done let me change the style of these as well to flow chart either is better to do it like this way and change the style of this one as well okay so these two pc are done and gateway and everything is done let me start these two switches first we will configure this one and first we will configure this uh, server but before doing that uh, i need to put something first thing first trunk and let me change them to bold color and let's give them something interesting let me select so this will be trunk between these two switches so that they can uh, uh, exchange all the vlan information now coming to the ip address schema so in my lab you can use your one whatever your subnet is in my subnet 192.168.100.210 so i will assign 210 to my first cisco ice device if you want to change the color to something more visible so 210 uh, should be ice 1 then 220 will be ice 2 management ip and then 230 will be my active directory and everything 230 and this wireless lan controller will be 240 you can give them anything but in my lab and my documents the lab file which i created so i use this subnet so it's better to use the same okay this is my management pc my management pc ips you can find out let me go to ip config slash more so this is 100.7 so this is my 100.7 so let me duplicate this one and come to management so this is seven okay this is my management pc to access all these devices from my pc done and this between this one is trunk this should get the ip from dhcp this is by the way uh, let me duplicate this one and type the detail uh, keep in mind this server will be active directory dns dhcp ntp and ftp i will configure one by one don't worry ad it should be dhcp as well it should be dns as well ftp as well and ntp as well in my lab and real world there may be a different uh, server for this purpose okay but in my lab i will utilize this server as a uh, for all these services okay so what can i do let me yeah it's better now either is 11 and make them 12 normal so this should be or each and everything let me put them here uh, active directory dhcp server dns by the way dns dns server ftp server and ntp server no need of this one we i will explain you when we configure this one uh, this should be in cluster is1 and is2 okay and uh, later on in for wireless communication we will use this one and how to uh, connect them to active directory and al al also to connect them to cisco is what else these pc1 pc2 they will get ip from the same ranges okay and firewall it's like to connect you to the outside world and this is our switch where we have all these connectivity okay and what else i need uh, 
yeah we will create vlan and everything uh, the ip address here by the way we will use this as a layer 3 switch so the ip address should be 254 254 so let me remove this one because there is no huge space so what i can do i will type like this way okay so all these they have a gateway 254 100.254 okay what else i need to know and here the range which we will use let me type the range from this one so let me change them to 192 168 99 0 slash 24 and let me change the color as well so let me use purple so here we will use these subnet keep in mind this is 99 so 99 means 99 one here either uh, one we will assign here to firewall and 99.254 we gonna assign to our layer 3 interface because this is a layer 3 switch okay we will use for both the, we will make this interface as a layer 3 and the subnet of the above one internet one i'm using here by the way 114 okay here is 114 so it will get ip automatically and here is 114.2 this is automatically one sorry one what else we need to know that's it uh, this the our lab topology and the style i make them like this way you can custom shape and square you can make them dashes are bold and you can change the color to suppose and when you click save so it will create okay but the thing is let me edit it and because this border is too much so it's enough now so let's go to this is our internet zone and let me change this one to edit and change to one is enough and change the color to something blue okay and let me bring them to here so this is management this is firewall section okay so in firewall i put them both so let's do the same thing okay clear and we here we have two pcs representing our end devices so let me make a shape custom shape this time square rounded and solid and it should be one and color should be something green okay and let me take them to here is okay that's it this is our topology and by the way these are our management pc if you want we can do one thing i can okay done so in next video we gonna configure one by one all these devices okay